Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, let's talk about what's in my cart for the Sephora sale. But I'm still not sure if I'm gonna check out. <laughs> Cause I've been standing on business and I've been doing like really good. All right, before I get into that, I have to talk about this Huda powder. I have it in the peach pie, right? Everybody loves this powder. Everybody loves the Huda Beauty powders. I'm struggling with the powder and here's why. I mean, when I got it, I did a review on everything. But I just want to say quickly, first of all, it's like so dry for me. Like, you can see my face. I feel like the rest... Don't mind my eyelashes. It's wonky. I feel like the rest of my face look lifelike and dewy. And just, but just look under my eye. It's so dry to me and so matte. And what I've observed about it, like when I put it and I set it down, I like to take my brush and push it in, push it in, push it in kind of. I notice if I do it with this particular powder, the little um, hair from the brush, when I, I, I can see it under my eye when I use the brush to remove it. And so it removes some of my concealer as well and I can see pieces of my skin because that happened to me over the weekend. And then I see pieces of my skin and then I tried to put a little bit more concealer to fix it and it was a total disaster. Almost happened again this morning because I wanted to check it out to see if it was really that, but it is. And to me, it just looks extra matte under my eye. I don't know. Like when I wear my kimchi, I feel my under eye don't look like this. I mean, it smooths it out, but you can tell like, boom, she has powder under her eye, sort of. Let me, let me know what you guys think. I don't know, but I have a full tub. Anywho, this is Sephora sale is upon us. I think it's Friday, right? Starts on the 5th. Yeah, it starts on Friday. It starts on the weekend. I wonder how come they started it on the weekend. And... Like I said to you guys, I've really been good. The only thing I've purchased, I would say like, you know, over a whole month, which is a long time for me because Ulta had their sale. And the only thing I got from there, I replenished my Urban Decay concealer because they had it for like $16 and I could not pass on it. I got a couple and I couldn't wait for the sale. I got the new Makeup Forever cream palette that I told you guys about. And as soon as I get it, I'm going to be doing um, a review on it. So let's look at my cart. So I don't know how to do the whole thing where you put the cart on the screen and whatever. So, so I have the Sephora Collection powder in my cart in a deep version because it's only $10. I was told they're phasing it out because they're going to remove the talc. I don't know how true it is, but I think one of my subbies told me that to me it makes sense. So I have this in my cart because I saw a girl. This is the thing. I'm always seeing people do stuff and this is how I get in trouble. She uses it as a bronzer and she's like a little, maybe a shade lighter than me. And I was like, oh, that's like pretty cool. Cause I love, you know, I love the Sephora powder. I love the, the formula of it. So I'm like, as a bronzer, that may be good. And it's only $10, 20% off. So I have that in my cart. And I heard a lot of people talking about the Patrick Star, the, um, what happened to my card? Oh. The Lip Snatcher, the liquid, the lip liner from Patrick Star. So I have the lip pencil in my card in the shade Coin Collector. It's described as, what is it described as? Soft, matte, rich brown. I see quite a few people, um... So I'm using like my ring light because I keep touching stuff because I don't know where my stuff is disappearing to. It's been raining all morning and it's not, what time is it? It's three o'clock and it's still raining. So I have no natural lights. It's all my ring lights. I hope it's not washing me out too much because I'm just so conscious of this under eye. It's so like, it's smooth, but it, to me it's so matte. So I've been hearing a lot about that pencil, so I put it in. And I also have the um, the liquid liner is also in my cart because I own it and I like it. I have it in black. 
Yeah, the shade is Bodacious Black. I already own it. I wear it every day. I know it's going to come to an end. So I was like, this would be a good time to re-up on this liquid liner because I know as soon as I used it, I knew I was going to purchase it again. And another thing I wanted to re-up on, two other things, is the... Um, the Charlotte Tilbury, her flawless setting spray, because mine is almost finished. And most of the times that I've purchased a setting spray has been in the sale. I always use this time to, because most of the times when the sale come around, either my bottle is finished, almost out, or I have maybe like half a bottle. I have the jumbo size, it's back there, it's almost out, so I figured I can re-up on it, I mean it's thirty-eight dollars, twenty percent off, and I also wanted to repurchase the Makeup Forever eyeliner in whatever black. It was in my favorites that I did um, last week. I love it so much. I wear it every day. I'm wearing it today. Um, it doesn't. I hate when my lashes wonky. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't smudge, it's black, it's it's just beautiful. I really, really like this pencil, so I figured this would be the best time. It's $24. All right, so the other stuff. And like I said, I put these things in my cart, honestly. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it. So I have the House Labs, um, her blush. Remember I told you I had Pomelo Peach when I initially purchased it, I didn't really love the shade. It looked like powder, too powdery on me. But I keep seeing this one is called Fire Moon. It keeps popping up with girls with my complexion, light skin girls, dark skin girls. And so I was like, you know what, let me put it in my cart. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna get it because you know, we have to stand on business. And I have been shopping my stash. I'm wearing my Elia foundation today in the shade Martinique. I forgot how beautiful this foundation is. I mean, it looks a little lighter today because of this under, to me the under eye powder is like so like stark, but it did smooth my under eye. Let, let me know what you guys think of how this powder is looking on me. And if you ever had that issue of it like separating a little bit, like when you try to move it, like if you bake with it. All right, so the House Labs in Fire Moon. So it's described as beige, Peach. I notice on lighter skin girls though, it's looking orange. Deeper skin is looking like a bronze orange and I love that. Like this person has, the model here has deeper skin. Look how pretty it looks on her. I've been hearing such good things about these blushes. This is the shade. If it's true to shade like I'm seeing here, this would be perfect for me because I love blushes like this, like nudey, orangey, brownish. Since I've been since I discovered that Patrick Ta blush, do we know her? Or she's giving one of the, the nude one that I have. I've been loving these um, type of shades. It just happened in my cart, like I said. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. And what I like about this one, cause you know, I'll be buying stuff for the packaging. I'm, I'm guilty of that. I'm one of those people. I Because mine has the silver top. This has, I think the cover, the lid is the same as the blush, and this is also clean at Sephora. See, I think the lid is, I don't know, it just looks pretty like, like when I see the girls holding it up. And this is how you see you get caught up because the packaging is so pretty. <sighs> but I've, I've been hearing good things. All right, what else is in my cart? So I have this Westman Atelier contour stick in ganache in my cart. Now I put the mini size in my cart. I've heard so many great things about this cream bronzer stick. If you guys have it, let me know. I own their foundation stick. I like it a lot. I just haven't reached for it because what I'll do, I'll, I'll keep most of my liquid foundations and the foundations I think I'm going to use the most and I'll bring it and I'll put it in that little drawer behind me. So sometimes just I just don't even feel like walking over to the other side just to get my stick foundations. The Makeup Forever Stick Foundation, I have it there because I wear it a lot. But I heard really good things about this. And the swatch just looks chocolatey and delicious. Do you guys own this? Should I leave it in my car? Should I take it out of my car? Should I just... Should I, should I buy it? Don't answer that. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Ugh. And you know, if you think about it, Sephora sale it's 20% off. It's not that much. You have to convince yourself. So I have it in my cart. This is also clean at Sephora. <sighs> then I have this Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier came out with pressed powders. I ha I love their loose their loose powders. I have it in honey, so I have the shade, the pressed version in honey in my cart. It just looks so pretty. So it's ultra blur talc free. So this is because they removed the talc because I have I have the one that has the talc and I have the one that doesn't have the talc in the loose powder. So this one doesn't have talc, which is very good news. And I can just see myself setting my under eye with this and then going over top with the loose powder and honey. It's looking so beautiful. And I'm like, girl, you do not need another powder. You decluttered your powders. I wasn't expecting Laura Mercier to come up with pressed powders. Like, oh, I'm sick of these brands <laughs> tempting me. So I have this in my cart. And this is expensive. This is 52 bucks. How much do you get? And there are three shades. How many grams of product? 6.5 grams. 52 bucks. That's a lot of money. So if you want to buy this, like, definitely I think the sale, the sale will be the best time to buy it. All right, another thing that's in my card because I saw one of my faves on TikTok talk about it is the Merit lipstick. And this is in the shade Deep 1990 Deep Brown. I, oh, oh no, I have a lipstick called 1993 from Urban Decay. I thought it was nice. So 1990 Deep Brown. This looks so beautiful, right? So it's their signature lip light with satin lips. It's like a satin lipstick. Like I'm wearing my Juvia's Place lipstick today. And this has like a soft satin finish as well. And I just love it. And, I, and this looks, looks so good. Let me find a black model. Doesn't it look pretty in her? So I went through the shades. I saw this and I'm like, oh, this looks so nice in her. <sighs> so I put it in my cart. I don't know if I'm getting anything. I'm dead serious. I'm not just like playing around, you know. I don't know if I'm getting anything in my cart, but I put stuff in my cart. Because a lot of the times I'm saying to myself, do I need it? Do I need it? Do I need it? I keep telling, saying that to myself. So I'm not sure, but it's in my cart. Okay. I have the Prada foundation in my cart. This is a $70 foundation. I have it in my cart. I have DW80 in my cart, which is described as deep skin with warm undertones. It just looks so beautiful. And... My fave on TikTok bought it. She loves every time she puts it because she used it in her live on Saturday. And I watched it and it looked so beautiful on her. Every time she's worn it, like I would never say to her, you're wearing that Prada, right? I know she's wearing it. This is how beautiful it is. And I'm thinking if there's any time at all to purchase this foundation, this $70 foundation. I mean, I've done worse. I've, I've bought foundations that are more expensive. That Tom Ford stick is 80 bucks. If there's any time to buy it, it would be now, right? But I, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. It's But it's in my cart. I know you guys have a ton of stuff in your cart. And you know when you put stuff in your cart, you take them out, you put them back in, you, you replace it. Everybody, I know right now everybody's playing around with their cart, waiting for the sale. So I'm definitely... This is one of the first things I actually put in the cart. To tell you the truth, I, I had this in my cart. So, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. So another thing I have in my cart is this. Is this is skincare. This Caudalie, Caudalie. And this is their Vena Perfect Brightening Dark Spot Serum Vitamin C Alternative. And you know I'm always looking for stuff for my hyperpigmentation I have hyperpigmentation especially in my laugh lines and I have dark circles under eye but the ones in my laugh line bothers me a lot um it hasn't gotten worse over the years but it hasn't gotten where I want it to be and I've used a lot of things I've used the inky list I've used everything there's this girl on TikTok she talks about it constantly she says the only thing that has helped her dark spots 
it's $82. So for $82, I figure, can you guys see it? For $82, now would be the best time to purchase an $82 serum. But if it, if it really would help my dark spots, I think it would be worth it because then also I would have peace of mind. I hate it because a lot of times I don't like to go bare faced because of my hyperpigmentation. And that's just like a no, no. So another thing in my cart is this Huda Beauty color corrector. I've been wanting this for a long time. I do like my NARS color corrector. I'm wearing it today. The Makeup Forever one that I had, the one I don't think they make anymore. That's like, that's like, it has a little bit in, in it because I was trying to get some out this morning. I couldn't get any. So I use my NARS to color correct. And I have to color correct because of my hyperpigmentation. And I've heard such good things about this. And I love her concealer. I'm wearing her concealer today in peanut butter. And I love her brand. I love most of the products from her. I'm really hoping to love this because it does smooth. I mean, I, I keep talking about this powder, but it's like I'm wearing it. And because I haven't been wearing, I've been wearing my kimchi. And now that I'm sitting here, I don't know if it's the light. It looks a lot better. My under eye looks so smooth. It just looks so matte. I wish it didn't look as matte and a little heavy. Yeah, so I want to, and this is $30 for this color corrector. So I'm thinking this would be the best time. And the shade that I wanted, though, is out of stock, I noticed. I wanted papaya, which deep, deep orange for tan to deep skin. I wanted papaya. But the next shade up is Blood Orange. So the next shade up is this one, Blood Orange. So this is the one that I have in my cart. Do you guys own this corrector? Do you like it? I think it's a good idea because I was thinking of the... Um, I was between this and, and the one from Natasha Dono because you know I love her High Glam Concealer. She has she had came up with some correctors the same time she came up with those concealers. And I think hers would prob probably be more hydrating because these are matte because if these are anything like her concealer they're matte but we'll see it's just it's just in my cart another thing that's in my cart is the um refi brow pencil i've heard such good things about it i've heard people say you, it pretty much does your brows so you guys know how i struggle with my brows i just rediscovered my mac um dip down i've been wearing it this is what i'm wearing um, but I've heard so many good things about this. It's twenty dollars, and I've been looking at looking at it for a long time. And I have the shade dark in my cart. I don't know. It's like I'm very nervous when it comes to like eye stuff because, like I said, I haven't found my holy grail yet. But I'm thinking maybe this could be the Holy Grail. I mean, I love the Sephora um, eyebrow pencil, but I'm saying, I don't know. So, but I have it in my cart. Don't know if I'm going to purchase. <laughs> Standing on business. But, you know, just have stuff in my cart looking around. We all do it. We all do it. Doesn't mean we're going to buy everything in the cart. And yes, I do have the Makeup Forever bronzer in my cart. I do not need this bronzer at all. I do not need this bronzer because I rediscovered my NARS. If you looked at my faves video, I rediscovered my NARS bronze bronzer in Gienna, G-I-E-N-A-H. I've been using it um, every day. I'm using it today. It's beautiful. What is going to be so different about this, right? So the shade that I, it's, and this is $36. The shade that I have in my card is 40 Warm Pecan Deep Bronze with a Warm Undertone. Now, if you guys have purchased this bronzer, because I know some of you have, let me know. What do you guys think? Should I add this to my bronzer collection or I don't need to add it to my bronzer collection? I'm thinking maybe I'll remove it out of my cart. I don't know because I really don't need a powder, a powder bronzer. I'm just being like a makeup fiend and seeing it and wanting it. I think that's what it is. So I've already gotten this. Um, it was available last Saturday for Rouge and I think for everybody else now. So I already purchased it. I cannot wait to get it. They haven't shipped it yet. I don't know. So I'm saying to myself, 
the sale hasn't even started and you guys are already acting like you can't handle a rush. So what's going to happen when the sale starts? Like this, I should have gotten a, sh uh, a shipping notification. I'm annoyed. All right. Another thing that's in my cart is the sunscreen from Kosas. I love anything sunscreen, anything tinted sunscreen. Um, I was really looking at that super goo, but the reviews aren't that great on that. But um, everybody's talking about this one. So I know they had an old version. This is a new version. So this is the Dream Beam Silicone Free Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40 with ceramides and peptides. So I think this one has like a tint. This is 40 bucks. 40 bucks, but I have it in my cart. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Um, it's a clean silicone free, calm free mineral sunscreen pack with ceramides and peptides, moisturize and stuff like that. It looks really pretty though. Um, and I've been hearing good things about it. I love me a good sunscreen to put onto my foundation. So I have it in my cart. And I also have this in my cart. So it's like between those two, if I purchase either. So this is from Glow Recipe. And this is their Waterman and Glow Niacinamide Drops. I've owned so far like three bottles of this, but this one has a tint. This has like this is like sun glow, and people are saying it's better than the drunk elephant um tinted drops. Um, this is $35. And it, it just looks so good. It looks so good. Like how look how nice her skin looks nice and dewy and shiny. <sighs> looks so nice. <laughs> I have it in my card. So it's a clinically effective serum with a sheer tint that evens the skin tone with a warm glow while niacinamide visibly brightens the skin over time. Okay, so it doesn't say anything about sunscreen. So that's like the only negative because I would buy this to put like onto my foundation. So I think I'm if I buy either of them, I'm probably better off um buying the Kosas. But uh, it just looks so pretty. <laughs> and it's also clean at Sephora. Alright, so I have this Denessa Myricks, the Moisture Repair Balm in my cart as well. So this is her Yummy Skin Moisture Repair Balm Serum with Hyaluronic Acid and Squalene. This just looks so delicious. Like, you know, you can wear it before um, your foundation. I heard it's super, super um, hydrating because it says it's good for dryness. You know, it's black owned, it's hydrating, it's fragrance free. So this is 98% natural balm to serum. Intensely hydrates, repairs and smooths with moisture rep repair complex and it has 16 nourishing ingredients. I mean, this just sounds like it'll, it'll be so good for the skin. It looks as though it's gonna feel amazing. As soon when it launched, cause she launched this with a matte serum, I think in a bottle as well. When this launched, I had my eye on it and I could not resist putting it in my cart. So that's it. Those are the, the things that I have in my cart so far. Like I said, I'm, and I'm being honest, <laughs> I'm very tempted. But I don't think I'm going to purchase everything, um, if anything at all, because a lot of it I do not need. Let's be honest. We don't need, you guys don't need anything that's in your cart either. You really don't. Um, I'm still shopping my stash. I'm still enjoying um, using my stuff. Like this orange blush I'm wearing on my cheek today is from my Hourglass palette there. You know the palette they launch every year? The, and I had chose the one with the elephant. I have it back there. I'm wearing the orange blush that's in there and look how pretty. And that was just sitting there. So there's so much stuff that I have and I'm enjoying using. And I hope you guys are doing the same, like rediscovering your foundations and stuff like that. So I don't know, but I just wanted you guys to know what's in my cart. Let me know what you guys have in your cart. Is it mostly skincare? Is it makeup? Because I know a lot of you had said that you were mostly doing skincare um, this time, but let me know. And um, well, we're still standing on business. We're being very good. Like I said, only two things things I've purchased over like almost like five weeks now is the Urban Decay concealers and the Hourglass um, palette because as soon as I launched, I knew I was gonna get it. All right, guys. Remind me what's in your cart.
but remember to also stand on business i'll be watching you and you guys are gonna be watching me too anyway guys um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys